Marhaba, my grade 5 students. Kaifa haluka. Kaifa haluki. Alhamdulillah. All right. And I'm here again, your teacher in social studies. And are you all ready to do your activities? Hmm. Okay. If you're ready, let's begin. Yesterday, we talked about the ancient and the Nile. Let's have a quick review about our lesson yesterday. Can you still remember these pictures? You can see there. Toot, 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 toot. The Narmer plate. Narmer was the first king who ruled the whole Egypt. Still remember? All right, good. And also, we talked about how important for Egyptians is the Nile River. They used the Nile River as their source of food. At the same time, they use it to trade their products with the other cities in Egypt. And also, every year, they experience the flood. And for the Egyptians, it's a blessing for them because they get water from the high mountains of Ethiopia. And then it will go through their crops. As a result, they have a silt ground where they can get many harvests. All right. But it's not that easy because at the same time, because of the flood, they get problems like parasites. Wherein parasites are very dangerous for them. They get sick because of malaria. But for Egyptians, the flood is a blessing, source of life at the same time, death. So, are you ready for our activity? Let's get into it. Yesterday, we were, we were able to talk about the ancient Egypt and the Nile River. We were able to recognize the life during the ancient Egyptian civilization, indicate the benefits and threats of the annual Nile River flood, understand the importance of the Nile River to the farmers, and discuss and list other ways people use rivers. Okay, prepare your portfolios. For this activity, I want you to match the words in the box to the pictures and use each sentence or each words to make a sentence. Let's jump into it. There you go. You can see there in the picture. Mm -hmm. I want you to write the word corresponding to that picture right there. These are the words. There. Okay. And I want you also to use your answer to create a sentence. For this, you don't need to draw the picture. All I want you to do is number it. One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. Because we have five pictures right here. There you go. What is this picture? Now, create a sentence. How about this one? 
What's the word? Create a sentence. Next. How about this one? Create a sentence. And this one. This picture. What word is it? Create a sentence to it. Okay. Take your time. For this activity, go to this part. There you go. What word is it? And create a sentence. Now, if you are finished, let me go back. If you are finished, I want you to take a picture of it. Submit it in our Google Classwork. And don't forget to review your answers. All right. Well, I will see you again next time for our lesson in Social Studies UAE. Don't forget to submit your activity. I'll see you again next time. Yalla. Bye-bye.